friends welcome to Kendall cooking channel if today is your first time watching a special warm welcome to you and if you are a returning viewer thanks for coming back and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell as well so you will be notified when I upload a new video I'm here today guys with another yellow squash recipe and it is our almighty abomo after sharing my light soup recipe using the yellow squash I was like eh, why not share this recipe also if you haven't watched that light soup recipe I will post the link in the description box so you could watch it at your convenience so these are the ingredients that we are going to use for this abomo we have of course our yellow squash onion peppers scallion or spring onion peanuts or groundnut momone <laughs> salt smoked mackerel and then a sardine i'm going for sardine today um, normally what we do is we use palm oil for this recipe but this is what i wanted today so this is what i'm sharing you could also use peanut butter if you don't have the nuts. I'm starting off by boiling the yellow squash and the pepper for about 10 minutes or when the squash is soft. The squash is ready. I'll just strain it in the colander and let it sit whilst I prep the other stuff. I'm using scallions because I like the flavor that it brings to the abumu. You could absolutely make it without the scallions. And remember, it's about flavor when you are making the abumu. So yeah, that's it. And I'm just going to use half of the onion and then add my peanuts. I'm going to grind this into a paste form in my asanka. Just in case you are wondering why I'm using yellow squash instead of garden eggs, which is the actual or the authentic ingredients. Uh, most people in the states where I'm living hardly, you know, uh, get most of the Ghana vegetables here, especially the garden eggs. So what most people that I know use, um, as a substitute is the eggplant. So one time um, I decided to experiment on yellow squash and see what more I could do with it. And I tried it with the soup and it worked. So I was like, why not use it in place of the garden eggs, um, which brought about this abomo recipe. It's really good and my family enjoys it. So I've grinded the nuts and onions into a paste form and I'll go ahead and add the squash and the pepper grind that as well and um, we're gonna move on to the next phase which is charring the momone or stinking fish as I call it comment down below and let me know uh, what you call that in English okay I'm going to try this on both sides remember this is all about flavors like I said and I'm also going to try the mackerel as well if you don't like um, momone you can um, absolutely use um, herring which is amani Add that and grind as well.
add some salt to taste and our uh, abomo is about done typically you would add um, palm oil to this abomo other people enjoy it oil less and with sardines too it's a banger just go for whatever you like it's all about preference I'm going to top it off with some sliced onions Meanwhile, my plantain is done, is boiled already. And that is what I'm going to enjoy this abomo with. Yes, it is the oil is shaman dieno. On the pan in sakwa. In two way, the one who said, me me pepper me in sakwa. Me nya abomo kakra. Bodie kakra, pe kakra, kusia kakra, sardine kakra, bivia kakra kakra. Oh, lie, no. <laughs> Everything looking good. And I'm about to enjoy myself, guys. Please give this recipe a try and you will absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And until I come your way another time, please be safe and be blessed. Thanks.